Today we're comparing Flex PLA versus Super PLA Plus to see which one of these PLA plastics makes the best airless basketball. I started by printing the Flex PLA in white and then I printed the Super PLA Plus in black. The print settings I use to print these balls are in the description if you're interested. The supports for the Flex PLA were a little bit of a pain to get off, but eventually they came off. The Super PLA Plus supports were really satisfying to remove. I did have to repair the bottom of each one to some degree. The Flex PLA had some holes and such that I had to smooth out and fill. The Super PLA Plus didn't take much. I mostly just had to fuse some stray strands together, but in the end it was pretty easy to repair. I made sure to sand everything when I was done to get rid of any bumps or anything that would affect the bounce when I tested them out. So this is the Flex PLA when it's all done. This is the Super PLA Plus. And now we're gonna see how these two compare when they bounce. All right, in my left hand, I'm holding the Flex PLA in white. And in my right hand, I'm holding the Super PLA Plus in black. We're gonna do a bounce test now. As I'm holding the Super PLA Plus, it is really hard, really rigid. I kind of feel like as soon as I start bouncing, it's just gonna shatter. The Flex PLA, it's a little squishy. It seems to hold up pretty good. You know, this is the second one I've printed and it, it just bounces really well. It holds up pretty solid so far. Let's try a bounce test with the Super PLA Plus here. All right, here goes the test and... <laughs> so I don't know if you can see, but it's definitely just cracked um, pretty straight down the middle. Yeah, that's a pretty solid crack. Yeah. It just shattered in half. Okay, so in terms of which plastic is better, it's pretty obvious at this point that the Flex PLA wins in terms of at least durability. The bounce that the Super PLA Plus had was actually pretty decent, so it might be worth trying and coating it with something or seeing if something else will make it more durable. I tried dribbling the Flex PLA for quite a bit and it seemed to hold up pretty well. I hope everyone else has a similar experience with the Flex PLA. It might be worth trying to coat it with something to see if I can even get the durability up even higher. If you've had similar results with the Flex PLA, let me know. If you've had a different results, let me know as well. And if you want me to try and coat some of these with something, also let me know and I might be willing to give that a shot as well. All right, see you in the next one.